everyone. So today is Monday, April 20th, 2020. Um, and I had my oral exam today. And I, I don't know. I don't know why I sometimes study so much because for some reason when it comes to the exams, it's as if I never studied at all. So why put myself through the stress of studying so hard if I'm just going to forget everything or not understand or panic on the exams. Um, all my homework, I do great on. I make very few mistakes. All of my in-class participation, I do great. Very few mistakes. Come to the exams, I don't know what goes on. Um, so now all I have left is my speech presentation where I have to memorize what I've been writing. Um, that's on May 1st. And then I have my video project, which I need to put together and edit and whatnot, which should be easy, but it's not as worth it. It's not worth as much as the exams were because since they had to change it from a written exam to a video exam, it's not worth as much, but I can still try and get a good grade. So at this point, I'm kind of resigning myself that even if I study hard, and I'm going to continue to study hard because that's just the way I am, I'm not going to end up in a, with an A in this class. It's going to be probably a B or an A minus at best. I think it's already an A minus right now, so it's probably going to be a B. It's going to lower my GPA a little bit, but it's going to be okay. I mean, I was trying to be a 4.0 student, but I've gotten two A minuses, and for some reason, minuses lower, but pluses don't raise. Um, even if it's an A, even though an A should be an A should be an A, gotta love the American grading system. Um, so yeah, that was that, and I'm just a little bummed over it, just because, again, I study so much. I put so much time and effort into my, my studies that it's just, it's kind of disheartening sometimes. Um, over the weekend, whenever I wasn't studying, I did play a little bit of Animal Crossing. Um, I didn't get to play as much as I normally do on the weekends because I had the test today, so it was my goal to try and study as much as possible. Um, and then when I wasn't doing either of those things, I was getting mask orders out um, because I had a really big order that I needed to get out that um, they were expecting, so I, I, I needed to fulfill it. Um, so today I'm going to do my Japanese homework because at least that's something I can do right. Um, I'm going to look over my speech, correct what never, whatever needs to be corrected, and then start trying to figure out how I'm going to practice it and memorize it. Um, I have to put a PowerPoint together, but it can only have pictures that's supposed to go along with the speech. So I might do that just to give myself something fun to do. And then I have drawing to do. I have not been in the mood to draw for almost two weeks. Like last week, I BS'd my homework um, just because I was not in the mood to draw. I wasn't in the zone. Um, so yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, I don't want to be an animator. Um, I actually have a degree in animation, 3D animation, and I, I kind of already know that that's not something I really want to do. Um, but I'm probably going to take the 2D animation class next semester just to kind of go along with what I've been doing in this class. Um, but I don't know. I might switch it to one of the storytelling classes or video classes. I haven't decided. Um, I'm, I, all I know is I'm doing Japanese Monday, Wednesday, Fridays with the same professor, luckily. Um, and I know she'll probably be a little forgiving at the beginning just with, you know, all the nonsense that's been going on. And we still don't know when we're going back, um, hopefully soon. But I don't want to go back if it's not safe. So it's, it's one of those things that is just kind of like I have multiple feelings about it. Um, this video is a little rambly just because I literally just finished my exam and I'm just caught in my own headspace. Uh, so I think I'm probably going to end it there. Um, I'm saying um a lot. I apologize. So we're just going to end it. I hope you guys are having a great week, a great start of your week. I hope you guys had a good weekend and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.